Have you ever found yourself with that feeling of inner desire to obtain every book in a series, every figure from your favorite show? Or should I say, like you gotta catch them all? That's right, from the time we are all a very young age, it is well known that we as humans have a desire to collect, gather, compile, to amass a variety of things. And I use the word things lightly because not everything we collect is even an object. People can be found collecting everything from memories to experiences. We want to say we did or watched it all just as much as we want to have it all. But I feel there is more to the desire to collect than most people believe. I feel that a collection, whatever it may be, are valuable aspects of who we are as people as much as it is how we feel about ourselves. From a young age, it is human psychology to collect. There have been numerous studies on humans and why we collect. Collections can be found all the way from humans over 105,000 years ago, collecting and bringing crystals to a region where they did not originate. Now, we collect and bring Pokemon from regions they did not originate. We collect things as young as toddlers, picking up seashells or rocks and bringing them home to our parents. We then show our parents, waiting for a form of gratification. This gratification received from our parents transitions later on in life into self-gratification. This self-gratification comes from the aspect of progression, which I believe is one of the most important parts of collecting. We feel fulfillment and gratification from the progress towards our goals. The goal being to complete the collection and the progress being each item added to that collection. In this aspect, collecting serves as a goal that we use to feel successful, given the general term of success is different for everyone that defines it. This definition of success that we create is fueled by our passion of our collection. The collection serves as an identity that we either proudly display or hide away from others. This identity is one that opens us up in ways that other possessions may not. The collection is a way to express our passions for what brings us joy in an outlet that reciprocates that joy through fulfillment. This expression helps us fit in with others that share that passion and provide a sense of belonging. Collections help identify your interests that are used to help foster social connections. The collection speaks for itself in terms of your interests and serve as an instant icebreaker for social interaction. This can lead to an opportunity to share in your passion and create relationships with others. There is also more to the collections than just what is being collected. The way someone takes care and respects their own collection can tell us a lot about them as a person. When someone puts the effort to organize and curate all the parts of their collection, they are developing important skills. Skills such as creativity and organizational thinking. Whether your collection is on display or put away, these skills are being improved when you organize your collection by book order, anime, or theme. Additionally, collections are a good way to support the creation of your interest and passion. By purchasing the merchandise, such as the manga, light novels, figures, or plushies, you are giving your support to the author or company that produces the very thing you are passionate about. Just watching the anime on Crunchyroll or another website will not give the same financial support to the author as purchasing the original manga or novel. Although, this leads to an entirely different discussion for another time. Collecting serves your goals and passion while also supporting the very people behind the production of your passion. It is important to form a distinction between collecting and hoarding. I feel the best way to form this definition is in how the person takes care of their collection. While the collection is in progress or after its completion, it is something to be proud of and take care of. It serves as a symbol of success and identity. How one treats these collections are important and separates that of a meaningful collection to meaningless hoarding. The effort put into the respect, treatment, and care of one's current and growing collection are the major differences between collecting and hoarding. That is not to say that selling your collection after it is complete takes away from the respect put towards that collection. That is because the aspect of collecting and progression made towards its completion is some of the most fulfilling parts of collecting and once it's complete, for some people, it is best to move on. Oftentimes, selling that collection instead of sticking everything in the corner of your closet is more respectful to that collection. Whether someone collects books, plushies, or trading cards, it is important to appreciate the progression of their collections and their expression of their passion. When people demonstrate respect for their own collection, we need to show the same respect towards them and their collection. Because collecting provides fulfillment in a passion that expresses ourselves, so whether the collection be on display or hidden in your closet, when we are presented with an opportunity to view someone's collection or see a post of someone's collection on the internet, it is important to understand that that collection, in itself, is respectable. 
Now, of course, there are other motivators and rewards for collecting, but I wanted to shed some light on less discussed aspects, ones that I feel I relate to the most. So, I guess the purpose of this video is to justify my spending habits.